Hey guys, it's Kai, and today we're going to do a quick review over this riding mower, the Troy Built TB30R. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is another mower that I've actually been playing around with. I think I've mowed on it about six or seven times now, and um, I just want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, first off, I'm really used to riding a zero turn radius uh, mower. Um, I, I, I usually use the, the a Ferris that is a, has a 48 inch cut and the, and the base on it's really solid so I don't feel much. So this one when I got jumped on this one the first time I was kind of like freaked out because this is a much smaller mower and it's not made as absolutely solid as the Ferris and when you ride this if you if you're ride, riding on something bumpy a little bit of bumpy terrain you're actually going to feel the body of it shift a little bit and it kind of freaked me out until i got used to it about three times into it after having uh rode this and mowed with it and everything you'll see that it has a really nice cut uh, for a small mower um, it was 9.99 at lowe's um, if you got a lowe's card i think you'd get like 100 or 150 bucks off of that so um, but for a riding mower that's small, this is pretty good. So let's take a look at some of the stuff on the mower. Okay, so if we look at the body, the body's all plastic. Everything on this thing is plastic, even uh, this right here. Here's where you're going to hit it forward, reverse, and neutral. You have to have it in neutral to start it. This shows where the gas level is. You've got your key start, your uh, throttle. Then here's your brake. And if we get on here, this is actually your speed. Now, one of the issues with this, uh, with your brake and everything, it doesn't ease out real fast. So you put this up fast on a fast speed and you let off the brake, it's gonna jerk you. So you have to be really careful, especially the first time you do it. it I suggest if you get this uh, mower and you're mowing it, put it in the first or second uh, speed position just for safety so you don't uh, throw yourself off the whole mower. Over here, this raises and lowers the mower deck. And then this is the engage for the blades. And that's really what you have for the mower. Okay guys, so a few things about this mower while we watch me riding round and round. Now at this speed I'm going about a two or three, level two or three on that mower. And uh, I don't like to go too fast on this just because of the brake thing. So uh, like I said, the brake, if you, um, if you push it too fast, then it might have a little jump to it. But things I don't like about this mower, if you have a yard that you're going, you have to go in reverse a lot, you have to disengage the blade in order to go in reverse with this mower. So if you have a yard like that, don't get this mower. If you have a yard where you have to constantly go backwards, don't get the mower. If you have a yard like this where you can do a lot of rounds uh, and, and, and going in reverse isn't really that necessary, then this mower is great. I mean, you, you really can't beat the price and the cut is actually very, very good. I mean, I was even surprised about how well the mower cut. Um, so for price, it's great. Uh, cut is great. Um, I, I don't like the, the body, it's plastic, but you know, it's a little bit cheaper. You know what are you, what are you going to say about that? I'm you. You're coming. You're talking to someone who's who's used to a, a Ferris, and it's like a six thousand dollar mower, and then you drop down to a thousand dollar mower. <laughs> There's going to be differences, you know. But I've mowed with this like I don't know eight times by now, and and mows great. But like I said, I would suggest this only to people who have more flat. A little bit of hill is okay, but more of a flat ground more um, a type of yard where you have the ability to make a lot of turns going forward. If you have reverse a few times, that's fine. But if you're having to go in reverse a lot on your yard, then I really wouldn't suggest this mower. I would suggest something else where you don't have to disengage the blade in order to go in reverse. But otherwise, that's my review. And I hope this helps you, whether you choose to buy this mower or you choose that this mower is not for you. Uh, whatever it is, I hope this helps. And uh, Subscribe if you haven't, like, dislike, whatever you want to do with this video. And as I said before, I have a, a children's book. And if you want to support me, 10 bucks is pretty cheap uh, for a nice little gift for your kids. So uh, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.